Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with a bunch of favorites I want to share with you. I got a little bit of makeup, a couple repeats, a couple new things, and some random kind of like lifestyle things. I don't know what else to call it because it's like clothes, food. I just, I'm going to call it lifestyle, make it sound a little better than it is. I have a lip balm discovery I want to share with you guys. This is from the brand Kiss My Face. They used to have a ton of lotions. I remember when I was a kid, my mom always had this brand around the house. And this smells just like the lotion she used to buy. So it's a peach lip balm. And it's so hard to find really nice, like realistic peach scents. I live for anything peach scented when it comes to lip balms. It's not too sweet. It doesn't smell fake peach. Like it smells like a real fresh sliced peach. And this does have SPF 15. It's made with natural ingredients. This brand is awesome. I do really like a lot of their products. But I always find their lip balms like at Whole Foods or Sprouts. Any sort of like health food store usually carries this brand. Um, Trader Joe's used to even sell it. But I can't find it there anymore. I, I think that's where I bought this one. Um, but I love this lip balm. It is a really nice find if you can find it definitely worth it this is a recent discovery for me it's the l'oreal infallible pro glow powder this is a compact this powder claims to be long wearing with a demi glow finish i'm wearing it today i used it also um, to set my concealer with i do have a tiny bit of highlighter on but i feel like it does give a nice glow to my skin without looking like too much it's very similar to the milani prep set and glow powder so i'm not going to say like you must go buy this because if you have the milani one it's pretty much the same deal like the finish is the same I feel like the coverage and the feel of the product is pretty much the same so I'm not surprised I love this because anything that claims to be kind of glowy for the skin is usually like my kind of cup of tea kind of thing my favorite way to use this powder is to take a fluffy brush with it and then I just kind of apply it wherever I feel it's needed and that would be usually where I put my concealer which is right here underneath my eyes and it doesn't feel like a heavy cakey powder and I love that because it does give a little bit of coverage but it's still pretty pretty glowy and I feel like it just makes my skin look really nice and almost airbrushed in a way. It's a gorgeous finish. It actually does give your skin quite a bit of glow. If you have um, oily skin, I'm not sure if you would like this, but if you are maybe normal to dry, check this one out, see if you like it. I personally really like the shade match on this powder too. I didn't know if it would really match me or not. Um, L'Oreal, I usually don't have the best luck with their shades, but this powder is pretty close to my skin tone and it does like I said, give that nice satiny finish that I kind of crave with it when it comes to powder products. So this has been a total win for me. So this right here is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush. I love the butter bronzer. I'm wearing the butter bronzer today, but I also have a bit of this blush on top. And the shade is called Vintage Rouge. It is so nice. And the formula is the exact same as the bronzer. It's a satiny finish. It goes on very easily. It just blends out like a dream. And this does last quite a long time on my skin, just like the bronzer. It doesn't wear off and fade you know after eight hours it still looks good it still looks very fresh and it does almost kind of double up as a highlighter but on me my skin tone is too light so I can't really take it all the way up to the cheekbones but the lighter shade that I purchased called natural the light pink of that almost looks like a highlighter it's gorgeous and there is a little bit of a like mirror compact situation going on but I just like to take a regular blush brush and do it at home I don't really bring this with me to touch up or anything like that um, but this is a nice product like I've used this all month long and you don't need a lot of it and I barely it barely looks like I've used it but I've been using this all month like seriously even when I don't wear foundation or concealer I still like to do a little blush and mascara and I just like it, it makes me look awake it makes me look fresh beautiful product I love the finish it is so nice and this color is my favorite of the I think three that I have love this one it's so pretty and I am wearing a highlighter today you guys know I love my highlighter now this is not a new product it's been talked about a lot on YouTube but it is still one of my favorite drugstore highlighters for more of a subtle glow and it's the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I think a lot of people say it's hard to find this but I find mine at Ulta every time. It's usually at Ulta in stock and if you can't get it in the store I recommend buying it online. I love this. It never gets old to me. It is just one of those highlighters that is so beautiful without even like trying. This is one of the best highlighters I think I have in my entire collection because I always come back to it. It's very affordable, easy to use. You don't need a lot of product for it to look good and I just like it because of that. All of those reasons, just a nice effortless kind of product that you can get at the drugstore. Like really good deal. This month I've been loving my Makeup Geek in the Nude eyeshadow palette. So I did use this in my fresh and easy makeup look video. If you, In case you missed that I'll have it right up here. You can check it out and see me use some of these eyeshadows. 
I am wearing a lot of them today though like in this palette so they do have some repeated like permanent shades in here but there's also some new ones you get some foiled shadows this one is in the spotlight grand sand which is one of my favorite foils that they make if you guys don't know this about me makeup geek shadows are my absolute favorite I've been using them for years now so whenever they come out with a new palette I get pretty excited but this is a neutral palette so this is like all me right here this is my cup of tea I'm so happy they came out with this I know a lot of you are like oh my god I have a neutral palette I don't need it so then please ignore this just skip ahead because this is a neutral palette and I mean I like it because I love neutral eyeshadows they are my favorite my favorite shades in this palette are buffed this one in the middle it's so great to just put all over the lid for me this is like a nice all over the lid color and this one called creased it's very similar to creme brulee so I love that I really wish they would have put creme brulee in here but I guess maybe they they want to put some new colors which is fine I'll forgive you makeup geek but you know creme brulee is my favorite shadow of all time pretty much and then they put grandstand in here of course which is just an excellent foiled shadow these foiled shadows have like a super metallic finish to them they are gorgeous ever since they launched these I've been obsessed with them especially the shade legend Oh my gosh, and Encore, that's my other favorite one. But basically, this is just a really nice neutral palette. If you guys want something that's very nice for any type of occasion, whether you're getting all glammed up or just everyday kind of easy casual look, this palette has been it for me, and I know I'm going to continue using this a lot because I just love Makeup Geek shadows. I have a whole bunch of them. I was wearing some earlier as I was doing my makeup. Another Maybelline product, I love this liner. It is their Curvitude Liner. So it looks kind of funky, like I know you're thinking, okay, why is it shaped like that so basically you can use this to hold it and make a wing it's really easy like the way that it's kind of bent like this you just screw off the top and then you go ahead and apply your wing and I used this this morning I actually love the shape of this pen it makes it just effortless to do a big wing I love winged eyeliner I've been getting back in the mood with it lately like I kind of stopped for a while like in the summer I was kind of like oh I'm gonna go for a lighter look and now that we're kind of coming to a close I'm all about that wing again and I love my felt tip liners I love pen liners like this and I like this one because it is dark it dries down to a matte finish all I have on for liner today is this curvitude pen it's very nice and intense black I love my liner to be as dark as I can get it so this has been a super win for me I love this pen you're good like you just do a little flick here a little flick there you are good to go I am so into this liner if you guys like wings you can get tiny wings with this big wings with this it doesn't matter I feel like the shape and the size is so perfect I love this curvitude pen it's so good okay so let's get into the non-beauty favorites I found some really cool products this month that I have been using and enjoying and I just want to share them with you so the first product right here these are some uh, leggings and this brand is called pink rose yeah pink rose so here's what they look like the brand is called pink rose I bought these at Marshall's for six bucks you guys six dollars and they are so comfy like the way that they feel I love the color I love the color and the pattern and everything I love the design on these I think they're really pretty but the feel of them is so nice like they stretch very well but they're opaque they're, you're not gonna see your little panties through it like it is you know it's dark you're not gonna see anything so I feel comfortable wearing these out you know and they feel so soft like these feel like my cat like they're so nice so yeah I just really like these I've just been wearing these so much I have a pair that's blue also and I see them at pretty much every Marshalls I go to so I hope you guys can scope these out and check them out for yourselves they feel so good I just really like them another Marshalls find you guys that I am so happy about this is my new backpack it is Steve Madden my favorite brand of bags of anything and I got this for 35 bucks at Marshalls it is so nice it's big it's the exact size I want it has these nice adjustable straps on the back and I love the storage it has so the front has two zippers and they're both separate compartments which is really nice I like to keep like my wallet up front usually I'll put like my phone wallet I have these Purell hand wipes these are like my favorite thing uh, when I'm out I needed a new backpack because I had a book bag and it was just getting too heavy to wear on one shoulder so I decided to go for a traditional backpack instead because I do have a lot of books that I usually have to carry so this just worked for me the size is perfect it fits you know all my textbooks that I needed to have and here's the inside of the bag it's all black which I love I just I, whenever I go for a new bag whether it's a purse or a backpack I just like to get all black like that's just my favorite look so I was really happy that the inside has that it's just really 
really nice and simple. I'm just really pleased with the style of this, the functionality of it for the price. I mean, 35 bucks, you really cannot beat that for a nice kind of quality backpack like this. And I just think it's so cute. Like it's a backpack that I would use whenever I go out too. Like if I need to go somewhere over the weekend or something, I'm gonna be using this backpack. Exactly what I wanted. I am so happy I found this backpack. I'm a big fan of So Delicious products. I've tried their creamers, I've tried their yogurts and their other ice creams, like the actual ones that come in little pint sizes. But these are their bars, coconut almond bars, and they are so good. These are really yummy. And I haven't had like a non-dairy ice cream bar in a long time. Like I tried a few and I never really liked them until these. I'm gonna open one up and show it to you guys right now. I cannot resist myself. Okay, so it's crunchy. It has little almonds on the outside and it is made with coconut milk ice cream. It's vanilla flavored. It reminds me so much of the drumsticks, which I used to eat as a kid all the time. So it's kind of like a throwback. It's so good. I am somebody who likes to bite their ice cream, so... I'm a weirdo. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of my August favorites. I will have everything that I talked about listed down below in the description. I'll put my favorites playlist down below. You can check out my past favorites. And I want to say again, thank you so much for hanging out with me, being here on my channel, and just showing me the love. I know um, you guys have been sending me a lot of support lately, and it just really helps me and makes my day. Like, you guys just help me get through everything. Like, whenever I feel a little bit down or something, I just remember, like, I can go to my YouTube fam and talk to them. I feel like August was by so quickly this month is just flying by and I'm happy like I'm I'm looking forward to fall because I really love my courses that I'm in right now and they're just so interesting and fun to me and I'm looking forward to, to going through school and continuing my education I do have like a, a while to go before I'm done but I look forward to it like it's actually I'm enjoying myself I don't feel like it's like sometimes it's stressful but it's not like I'm not enjoying myself I love learning like I don't know if anyone else is like that but I love school I actually really like it and enjoy it I hope you guys are having a great month I just want to say thank you so much for being here I would love to hear from you all let me know what your favorites are it doesn't have to even be beauty if you guys have a cool new backpack you got or if you have anything cool that you want to share with us I would love to know and just get a great chat going in the comments I love seeing people interact with each other and I just love talking to you guys too. I can't wait to hear from you all and as always thank you so much for watching.